Welcome to another episode of Global Banking Finance Week. My name is Yutika Logan. Today we are going to talk about 5 questions to answer before you buy your first investment. The process of investing can be a bit overwhelming, especially if you are doing it for the first time in your life. If you are planning to make an investment as a novice, then you should remember these 5 questions to answer before you buy your first investment as they will guide you through the process with much more ease than you think of it. Are you ready to take risks? The first thing about an investment you need to remember is that the most of them are not 100% safe. So you should ask yourself whether you are ready to take risks and lose all your hard earned money in one go. If you can't take the risk, it's better to invest only small amounts of money and that too in safe options like government bonds. Are you eager to learn? One of the five questions to answer before you buy your first investment is whether you are eager to learn about the investment options you have chosen or not. You can invest in stock options you prefer to learn about and have an interest in. For instance, if you work in the steel sector, you can learn about the steel industry and invest in stocks of steel industry only. If you have a real interest in learning, your investment decisions would be smarter. Are you easily influenced? When investing, you should learn to not being swayed easily by others. If you think that one investment option is good on one day and think that the other is better the other day because someone on the television is saying that then you won't be able to let your money grow. So make sure that you are not swayed by others while investing. How much can you afford to invest? Another crucial one among 5 questions to answer before you buy your first investment is how much you can afford to invest without sacrificing your essential lifestyle choices. Ideally, you should invest some part of your earnings, be it 30% or 40% as an investment. You can use the rest of the earning to live peacefully now. Don't be too enthusiastic about the future as you may ruin your present being stingy. Also, don't invest so little that you barely survive during your retirement. Try to maintain a balance between the two. Can you trust your instincts? The last question is whether you can trust your instincts or not. You should always be able to trust your instincts and leave an investment opportunity if your gut says that it's not right. Instincts and knowledge rarely clash, but if they do, you should go with the former. Instincts and knowledge rarely clash, but if they do, you should go with the former. If it doesn't feel right, you shouldn't put your money into it. Similarly, if your gut feeling says that an investment is worth it, you should invest in it. It doesn't matter how small the account is, what matters is whether you trust your instincts to risk losing your money or not. In most cases, you should. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and one lucky winner will win a one year free subscription of Global Banking and Financial Review magazine.